Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how we can easily use Harvest time tracking software. So let's start. The first thing we are going to try Harvest free and I will just add here the first name. Okay, and I will change the email and I will add my company and password. Create my account. Now I'm going to just wait and now who will be using this account? Just me, continue. You can choose also like your team if you got team whose client you're working with client name can be jessica what project are you working on with them youtube channel continue add a sample data to help explore i can add a sample data to my trial continue what's your primary industry and i'm going with advertising and marketing pr you can really choose which one you want how did you hear about us? Google. I don't want to receive anything. All done. Now when I'm going to log in into it, Harvest. Let's go. First, you're going to see in the top right. No, I mean top. Time, expenses, projects, team, reports, invoices, manage, help, settings, and your profile. Now we can go start with the basics and time tracking the project and track your first hours. But I recommend like click on the projects here. Here, you can, this is like the sample ones that I have like enabled and I can simply click new project, but I already created mine here. I can click on it and I can see that, okay, I got the project progress, hours per week, total hours, budget remaining. I didn't have a budget here and I can see it here, design, marketing, project management, everything, right? I can edit the project. And I can add a project code. You identify your project. You can use combo of numbers and letters. So you can go like YouTube one. Dates when it starts. Notes. And now you have an option to go on a project. If it's like project type time and materials. Fixed fee or non-billable. I can go time and materials. So I can go with hourly rate. Project hourly rate. And let's go 10. Budget. So let's say that I have only total project hours can be 50. 50 hours per month. I can budget it, budget resets every month. And again, but you can choose which one you want hours per task, hours per person. So person can have 10 hours and that's it. And send email alerts if projects exceeds 80%. So total project 50 hours, that's 500 euro. And then you're going to see the permissions here. And then tasks here. So I can just delete this. And I can add a task. Let's say YouTube description. YouTube video, right? And then I have team members here and I can assign person. So this is how you can do. And now I will update the project. And right here I have the YouTube channel and I have my two tasks here. So this is how project works. And this is the same if you would add a new project. The process is the same that you can edit it. Then you see team members that you can add a person. This is really simple. Click here, add person. You got it. Then you're going to see reports here of what was actually happening. You can also see of your projects and hours, billable hours, etc. And invoices that you can actually create a new invoice. And let's say you can also add expense. So we can add, choose a project, YouTube channel, category can be entertainment. And I'll just note holiday and it can be 50 euro save expense. And this expense is billable. Now I can go with the time and let's just start tracking new entry. We can go Jessica YouTube channel and we can go with a tag or with a task YouTube video. And I can start timer. And voila, it's starting to count. Right? So right now you can stop it. But again, I'll just leave it. Then you, if I finish it, I will see the pending approval. And when it's loading, what you can do is go top right and just edit your whole profile here. The name, the capacity of hours per week, a billable hour, cost rate. So let's say that we're going to have 10 billable hours. Cost rate can be five. The internal cost that this product incurs on your business. 
and only administration can see this rate. And then you have time zone. Update information. And you can also add the notifications here. Time tracking reminders. Uh, weekly, however, so there's like weekly report and approval. And then you got security. You can change your password. And then here in projects, you can delete simple the project, right? So I'm going to delete those sample ones. And assign projects. So let's go to time and let's just stop the timer. And we see, okay, submit the week for approval. Submit timesheet. And we have it right here, one minute. Okay, submit for approval. Pending approval, we see right here. 50 your expenses, one minute of hours, 100% billable, approve timesheet, approve timesheet, and voila. We got it, right? And now what you can do is just simply go to invoice, new invoice, choose a client Jessica, choose a project, YouTube channel, and now for time materials project. What hours would you like to invoice? All uninvoice billable hours by task, by person, by project, by detail. What would you like to invoice? All uninvoice billable expenses. And again, how to display expenses. You can really edit it as just by your choosing and review invoice. And now we got it. You see it here. So we got first service, invoice ID one, invoice for Jessica. We have discount here, unit price. Product 50 euro, save invoice. And voila, here we got it. Now I just click PDF here. And this is pretty much it, how we do it. So this is how you can do it with a Harvest app. It's like really simple and really easy. And how we can create invoice. So that's really good. And Harvest is quite good. What I don't like really is that you don't see the counting and Clockify is also good, but not a disadvantage kind of is it's like you got 30 day free trial and that's pretty much it that you have to like upgrade. But it's like cheap, it's not really expensive. So that's pretty much it. Thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down in comments. I'm really happy to help you and provide you some guidance. And yeah. I hope this video was at least helpful and at least you would see what was happening. So have a great day and goodbye. See ya.